Thank you for joining us today. Get ready for an exciting and informative journey. And don't forget to like, comment, and share your thoughts to engage with our community. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose on Tuesday for the first time in seven days as Wall Street readied for the end of the first half and investors piled back into tech stocks. The S&P 500 advanced 1.15% to finish at 4,378.41, while the Nasdaq Composite surged 1.65% to settle at 13,555.67. ASDAQ Composite surged 1.65% to settle at 13,555.67. Friday marks the end of the second quarter and first half of 2023. The NASDAQ has gained 10.9% since the start of April and 29.5% this year. It's on pace for its best first half in 40 years as investors scoop up technology stocks after 2022's slump. The S&P 500 and Dow are on track to finish the quarter up 6.6% and about 2% respectively. Tuesday's morning fresh economic data showed home prices are rebounding while the newly built homes market remains attractive amid tight resale supply. At the same time, Americans are feeling more confident about the economy even after the Fed's signal to hike interest rates one or two more times this year. Buried in this morning's reading on consumer confidence was an update on how consumers feel about the stock market. And while overall consumer confidence hit the highest level since January 2022, expectations for stock prices flipped to positive from negative for the first time since December 2021. In June, 34.7% of respondents said they expect to see higher stock prices in a year, more than the 30.2% who expect lower stock prices over that period. Some 35.1% of respondents expect prices to be the same in a year. Airline stocks were soaring Tuesday after Delta Airlines raised its earnings guidance and cited off the chain travel demand. Delta jumped 6.5%, American Airlines Group surged 5.9%, Southwest Airlines climbed 3.6%, United Airlines Holdings popped 5.2%, and JetBlue Airways soared 9.2%. Unity Software Inc. was up 15% after the real-time 3D content platform announced its launching a dedicated AI marketplace in its asset store. The marketplace will feature AI-driven game development and gameplay enhancements. Also, developers can now access and start creating with an ever-growing selection of AI tools. Snowflake was up today after announcing a partnership with AI platform Vidya. NVDAA. The deal will enable Snowflake's extensive customer base of over 8,000 businesses to create their own generative AI assistants. The collaboration was unveiled during a fireside chat at the Snowflake Summit, featuring NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang and Snowflake O. Frank Slootman. Walgreens Boots Alliance was down 10% after slashing its full-year earnings guidance and falling short of expectations in its latest earnings report. All right, everyone, let's analyze the indices, starting with the ESPI S&P 500 ETF. As you can observe, SPY has responded as we anticipated last week, reaching the top of this channel. It may continue upward towards $439 before retracing to $425, completing the ABC correction pattern. This level aligns with the middle of the channel. All right, let's shift our attention to the NASDAQ chart. The NASDAQ index responded to the upper boundary of this channel since last week and experienced a rebound today. However, 
there is a possibility that it could decline to 13,150 to complete the ABC correction pattern as indicated on this chart. We will provide further updates in the next episode. Now, let's take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. The reverse head and shoulders pattern is still in play, and if this pattern unfolds as expected, we may witness the Dow reaching the 37,000 level. Furthermore, the slope of the 200-day moving average has recently turned positive, which adds to my optimism regarding the potential attainment of the 37,000 level in the near future. My followers, let's dive into the cryptocurrency market, starting with the leader, Bitcoin. Last week, I discussed the downtrend wedge, which resembles a bull flag pattern. As you can see, Bitcoin has experienced a strong breakout, surpassing the upper boundary of this wedge. I believe it has the potential to maintain this level for some time, although there is a chance it may retrace back to the 28,000 level. However, I expect the uptrend rally to resume thereafter. Additionally, it's important to note the possibility of a double top pattern forming in this area. If this pattern materializes, there is a chance that the price could decline back to the 22,000 level once again. It's crucial to monitor this pattern closely and consider its potential implications on the market. If you haven't already watched our Bitcoin update video from March, I highly recommend revisiting it for valuable insights. Moving on to the Ethereum chart, we can observe a robust rebound from the 200-day moving average and the lower boundary of the updated channel. Presently, Ethereum is trading around the middle of the channel, which serves as a resistance level. Similarly to Bitcoin, there is a potential for the formation of a double-top pattern in this region. If this pattern emerges, there is a risk of a significant drop to the $1,400 level. It is crucial to closely monitor the price action and be prepared for various scenarios. All right, my friends, that concludes my quick review of the stock market and cryptocurrency market. I wish you all a successful week ahead, and I look forward to connecting with you again next time. Take care and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.